Hi, I'm here today with Last Light by Manfrotto to talk about the Easy Balance. Uh, easy Balance are great cards for digital photographers. Uh, it's a quick and easy way, no pun intended there, to ensure that we get perfect colour from the start of the shoot to the end of the shoot. We can either do these things on camera as a set colour balance or we can do it in the post-production. Easy Balances are available in three different sizes, uh, 30 centimetres, 50 centimetres and the Pro version is 75 centimetres. As you can see from each of these, they've got a target on them, uh, which makes it very easy for you to focus, especially when you're trying to actually fill the frame uh, doing camera custom balances. The Easy Balances were originally designed to ensure that the frustration for many photographers in getting accurate colour from the shoot to the actual print was going to be an easy journey. Um, most photographers were having to rely on their laboratories for colour correction and today uh, it's good to know that using the likes of the Easy Balance, using simple click colour balancing on software allows you to get accurate neutral tones within the photograph which is key of course. Uh, each of the Easy Balances they just twist away like all of the Last Light by Manfrotto uh, reflectors and uh, backgrounds are concerned and they just zip out into their little pouches one third a size so you know you can kind of have it clipped just onto your bag pretty much travel with you the whole time with it. So the Easy Balances are produced with triple stitching and they also come with a lifetime guarantee on the rim. But enough about the product, let's see how we use it in the real situations. When I'm shooting in the studio, uh, the Easy Balance card specifically is used to guarantee perfect colour. In this scenario, we're going to be putting the Easy Balance just in front of the product, photographing it with the studio flash, and that's what we're going to be using then in the post-production to click balance the whole shoot. It's an easy way, whether I'm doing it in the post-production or setting a custom balance on camera, to allow us to make sure that the first shot is exactly the same as the last shot and can guarantee colour rendition throughout the whole shoot itself. So all I need to do here is bring all the images I've selected into RAW, you could do the same in Lightroom, and then choose the Easy Balance grey card as the point to click from, and that is going to be used to give us that perfect colour. I'm out at the amazing Fonmon Castle here to show you how you use the likes of the Easy Balance to control mixed lighting. I've got a very strong tungsten light here with some daylight coming through and this is probably one of the most difficult scenarios to work with. In this case what I encourage you to do is shoot the Easy Balance card first with your model or without, it doesn't matter, but then do the correction in the custom balance later on in post-production. So the first thing, as I said, is shoot it with the model. Uh, remember, you can use this card as an exposure guide as well. Make sure that you've got uh, a little bit of the daylight and a little bit of the tungsten involved. So now I've got all these images here in RAW. All I need to do is basically, first of all, select them all, and then using the color picker, I can actually move it around the gray card to control the warmth or the coolness that I want specifically to that series of images by just using the picker and moving it around the Easy Balance grey card itself. So when we're working with just a single light source in colour, like a window light, or in a minute we're going to be using the tungsten light down the end, we can custom balance on camera. First thing to do is shoot the Easy Balance, fill the frame to make sure you've got all that whole grey, which is going to be lit by the, the light that it's lighting the subject with. Then by using that image, I go into the camera settings, select the custom color balance, select the image to set the color balance, that's the one I've just taken of this, and then the camera is gonna completely turn everything into the world of 18% gray as far as its color tone's concerned. All I need to do is make sure whenever I move to a new color light source, I'm taking that same easy balance again and creating a new custom balance. Another use uh, for the Easy Balance is to completely customize color. That includes when we're using flash. What I've done here, I've got a simple speed light up on a stand, uh, but I've got a CTB, it's a color temperature blue gel on the front of the flash, then a honeycomb in front of that, in fact, to control the light. It's the CTB is the key thing. I'm cooling um, Kelsey down, that's our model for the day. What's gonna be then in the post-production, simply click onto it to turn everything to a warmer color, especially in the background. Perfect for the kind of the autumn fall colors. So as you've seen, striving for perfect colour is not an art nowadays, it's quite simple. All you need to do is make sure that you're calibrating either your camera or using it within a photograph to calibrate your shots in post-production. The Easy Balance it wraps away, as I said, into one third its size, 
pretty much allowing you to carry it on your bag the whole time. So you can always guarantee great color balance every time you take a shot.